138th Kentucky Oaks was a day for the ladies and a day for racing. But you could tell it was for the ladies in the pink that was in the paddock. The windows of the majestic twin spires overlooking the stretch. The ribbon wrapped behind the winner's circle. Even as they crossed the finish line on Oaks Day, the frontal atop was pink. Did I mention the drinks? The shoe board at the paddock area tells the story of where the shoes are worn and in what conditions, and of course are not quite as fashionable as the females watching from the other side of the fence. If you happen to be one of the 122,000 fans to show up for Oaks Day, you could be seen high above the grandstand, out on a balcony, or along the stretch drive packed up against the fence. Along the clubhouse turn, you could see many fans wearing pink in their support of breast cancer awareness and to watch the ladies run on Oaks Day. Under the crowded grandstand, we waited for our horses and cheered as they ran by. All up in the media center was more of a quiet storm when we plugged in, we chatted, we reported, and laid a few wagers down. Of course, there were many races leading up to the Oaks in which the horses were led out of the barn area. The starting gate was rolled out, getting ready for the race. The horses were led into the paddock, saddled, and marched around for the betters to take a look at, led back to the track and into the starting gate where that magical bell would ring. And there we go. They're off and into the first turn of the clubhouse. Not long before they make that journey back around the track to the stretch, and we cheer them on. Winner's Circle was the place where the equine athlete and the human connections got the opportunity to stop and smile. Of course, Oaks Day is a day for hats, from those filled with flowers and feathers, or bows and fringe, to the simple and the divine. Radar showed that a different kind of hat would be necessary. As heavy thunderstorms moved into the area, Churchill officials evacuated the infield and once where there was tens of thousands of people enjoying themselves on the infill grass, there was now none. Even the paddock became an empty place. Just before the big race of the day, a different kind of parade graced the Churchill track, for this was a parade of 138 cancer survivors. Following the first 10 races, the 45 minute rain delay, the runner up and the eventual winner of the Oaks passed us by in the post parade. Finally, it was time for the 138th running of the Oaks. to the victors go the spoils. Trainer Larry Jones in his trademark cowboy hat makes his way through the main track of Churchill Downs onto the special winner's circle in the turf area where he greets his female winning jockey Rosie Neprevnik on Believe You Can, the 138th winner of the Kentucky Oaks. As Rosie left the winner's circle as a history-making jockey, I couldn't help but think about the day that just was. 122,000 fans here to see the Phillies, the 138th Oaks, and to celebrate those who have survived cancer. We saw some fantastic finishes of some wonderful horse racing. For the dark clouds, the heavy rain could not dampen the spirits for those of us who came out to see the Oaks. For we witnessed history, and for those of us who hung around just a little bit later, we were blessed with hearing this. As my father would have said, it's a great country. <laughs> <laughs>